I travel to the island of Phuket off Thailand's west coast to meet diving instructor Matt Butcher, who knows firsthand the damage a giant moray can inflict. And his story from the nearby Similan Islands was caught on camera. I was working on a Similan liverboard, um, a dive liverboard, and there was a famous moray eel that all the instructors that used to work on the boats there used to feed her. She lived under a table coral, and every time divers approached her, she would swim out and investigate. How, how big was this eel? I would say at least six foot in length, and she had a very big head as well. She had several names. She was called Emma by some boats, Scarface by another boats. That morning, she swam out as normal, and she played with us for a bit, and then I decided to get the food out. As I was concentrating on getting the food out, Emma, she swam behind my back and she could smell the food. Before I knew what had happened, she'd kind of latched onto my thumb. I tried to open her mouth with my other hand, but I just couldn't get her mouth open. Um, she shook her head, came off with a loud pop. I looked down and I could see the knuckle where my thumb used to be. You appear to have a, a thumb now, so what's the story there? When I arrived at the hospital in Phuket, the doctor there, who was dressing my wounds, he mentioned that he had a colleague in Bangkok and he could possibly perform um, a procedure where he could take off one of my toes and graft it onto my hand to replace my missing thumb. Within about five months, I guess, it was, it was great. I could move it a lot. And I think I have about 80% mobility now. It's great. It's just like I have my, my old thumb back. I, I don't even notice I've got a toe. Matt's encounter had a positive ending. But if it were a giant moray that killed the tourist, that would fit with tales of sea serpents devouring helpless sailors.